Hi, Dr. Bridget here with another prescription for success. Today we're going to be talking about how you remember and giving you some tips for that. So it's an interesting topic. Um, I've got a mastermind called Stretch and we were talking about it the other day. And let's face it, we, we do a lot of learning, don't we? So, and sometimes we need to remember those things. So we learn, we read, um, we've got perhaps hard books, we've got Kindles, we read on the internet, we listen to audios, we listen to podcasts. And how do we actually remember the things that we need to learn? So I think that because things are much more accessible now, so the internet, a Kindle, um, you know, we tend not to remember things in the same way because we think, well, we can always go back and listen to that. We can always go back and read that. But do we ever do that? And there's this thing called um, the Ebbing House curve. So it's called the forgetting curve. And Ebbing House realized that actually we don't remember things really after about an hour or we start to forget. And certainly after a day, we start to forget. And I was standing at my bookcase the other day and looking at all the books that I've got that I may or may not have read. Do I actually remember what's in them and what have I actually done to remember those things? So we had a good talk about it and it turns out that most people don't really have any sort of strategy, if you like, to remember things. There was one person on my mastermind group who'd read a book that we talked about. Um, I think it was um, Think and Grow Rich or something like that. And she'd had it all written out, but it was quite a long piece. Um, and it was really useful because she'd just go back to her filing cabinet and get it out and look. But we came to the conclusion that maybe, you know, whether it's a conversation, whether it's something you read, whether it's something you listen to, if you could remember the top three things and write them down somewhere, maybe in some sort of filing cabinet, maybe, you know, online, so that we could actually go back over them. Because it turns out that if we go back over things, then we remember them more. So if we look at them an hour later, if we look at them a day later and think, what are the three things that I learnt of this, this and this, or even what are the three things that I've learnt today that are really important to me, then that would make a huge difference to us because I think life just goes on and we move on to the next thing uh, and we just don't remember the things that would be really, really useful. So I don't know if that applies to you. If it does, um, perhaps try writing down the three things that you get from doing any sort of activity. Um, you might need lots of journals and books by the time you get to the end of the year, but would you have actually benefited from that? Just ask that to yourself. Anyway, that's me. Um, I'm off to make the th list of the three things I've learnt from doing this video. Um, and I shall see you again next week. Bye.